Hey everybody, it's Christina of Crafty Paws. I wanted to come on and share my second pocket letter with you guys. This one is called Puppy Love, and it's my entry into Sybil B's love theme pocket letter challenge in honor of her, I think it's 35th wedding anniversary. This is also a DT project for diamond dies, and I used the word die set number one, as well as the dog house and dog tag die set. This, this card here is one that I made for a challenge by Lady S. Crafts, but it was doggy themed, so I thought I would use it here. <laughs> I made this with the diamond die circle nesting die set, as well as the hello from the word die set. If you guys are going to make a purchase at Diamond Dies, please consider using the code THANKSCHRISTINA for 10% off your entire purchase, plus free shipping on all orders of $35 or more. Now, I use these word dies in a few different places. The first one, like I mentioned, is for this hello. I also use the love, the forever, and the XOXO. I die cut the words out twice and glued them so that they had a little more thickness. I wanted the words to feel more like thickers, you know. I also cut out the words love, XOXO, and always uh, for the shaker section. And in order to make them kind of strong enough to withstand a lot of shaking, I die cut those words out three times and just glued each layer one on top of the other. And I really like how that adds some interest to that shaker pocket there in the middle. I used the Diamond Dies house, uh, Dog House and Dog Tag set to make these little tags that I attach to each of the little holes in the pocket letter. I first ran some washi tape, this cute little doggy washi tape along it. Then I took an X-Acto knife and cut out the holes from the washi. And then I die cut these pieces out two times, glued them together, sandwiched them, inked the edges, and then put these cute little buttons on top of each of the tags I just snapped the back of the buttons off and then hot glued those on. I tied the whole thing up with some baker's twine that I had gotten around some packaging. This is from Macon's here on YouTube. Let me go through and show you guys the rest of the pockets. This first one is one of my free digis and I will go ahead and re-release this one in case somebody might want to use this and didn't get a chance to pick it up when I first released it on my blog. I'll put a link in, my, in the description box below to my blog post as well. This is my latest free digi and it's supposed to be like a little St. Bernard puppy holding a little bouquet of flowers. And here's a bigger printout of it. This is the free digi that I released yesterday on my blog and it's called St. Bernard Puppy with flowers for you. <laughs> it's a long day. It was a late night. <laughs> These two images are from an artist by the name of Kim Niles. I got this offline and I altered the colors of them so that they would look more like my biscuit and my bandito. I think they came out really cute. She's a great artist. These three puppy images are from Some Odd Girl. They're from the Preppy Pups and Hipster Pets stamp sets and they are so stinking cute. I love coloring those up. This little puppy here, this is an Art Impressions little puppy and this is the backside of the puppy. <laughs> Isn't he a cutie patootie? I just love those front and back Art impression stamps. The paper that I use for the backgrounds of all of these are actually from the DCWV the pet stack. The other little accessories I used were these dog bone brads, which were gifted to me by Sheila McNabb. This little doggy paper clip and this bone paper clip that were gifted to me by Irene, Crafty Irina. And I think that's pretty much it for the front. On the back, I used papers from the Daisy Hill top dog paper collection. This is an old paper and it's actually really thin, but I didn't mind it for being on the back side of the pockets and I wanted to have 
paper that was doggy themed but a little bit softer in color so that you could see all of the different little embellishment gifts that I was going to be giving to. Oh, by the way, this is a pocket letter for my sister who is a huge dog fan and lover like I am. These little um, embellishments, I think these two and also these brads were gifted to me by Tina Kappa and Oh, I did want to let you all know, if you haven't figured it out already, with the We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board, you can make an envelope the exact size of one of these ATC size pockets. It's two and a half by three and a half inches. And you get that by actually cutting a five by five sheet of paper and then lining it up to two and an eighth inch right here. And that will form this little envelope, the perfect size for pocket letters. I ink the edges of that with antique linen and on this side I inked all the edges with walnut stain and I ink the edges of these little tags with antique photo because I wanted it to be a little bit lighter than these cards. And that's it. That's my pocket letter. I really enjoyed making this. It Actually, this is my second pocket letter, and it only took me a day and a half as opposed to the four days that my first pocket letter took. I don't know if that's because doggy themed projects really inspire me or <laughs> because maybe I'm getting better at pocket letters. Who knows? <laughs> oh, I did also want to mention that I just sewed the top of this pocket after I put in the sequins, the glitter, and those super cute love words from that word die set from Diamond Dies. And that's really it. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will answer them. And otherwise, I hope you guys are having a wonderful crafty day. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye.